A lot of solar cell losses are due to reflection, so the light will hit the solar cell and bounce off the, of the solar cell rather than going in. And this is what led us down the path of trying to change the structure of surfaces to reduce the reflection so that the light would go in rather than bouncing off. At the Center of Functional Nanomaterials, we were investigating how light interacts with matter uh, and how changing the geometry of matter at the nanoscale can change the, can affect the way this interaction happens. Uh, so then what we found is that if we take a piece of glass and we change the surface from being completely smooth to being spiky, um, then we uh, almost entirely eliminate reflections and we do it in such a way that is broadband meaning that it works for all colors and omnidirectional meaning that it doesn't just work if you look at it face on but even if you look at it at an angle it still works. In our laboratories typically the work stops uh, after the science is finished but sometimes as is true in this case the science is finished and we're left with realizing hey you know what we're kind of on to something here. This is useful. The world uh, could use something like this. Glass as a material, glass has a wide variety of applications from windows to uh, pr prescription eyewear to protective covers for consumer electronics. Um, and it, in many cases, reflections from these windows um, either degrade the device performance or uh, affect the user experience. Um, so the hope is that uh, by replacing these with uh, uh, glass windows that do not reflect, then you could either regain the lost performance or you could have a much better user experience. For example, you could think of um, the, the, pla the glass cover on your uh, smartphone. Um, if you're out on a sunny day and there's a little sunny and there's a reflection from the, uh, from the glass, then it makes it really hard to see what's on your phone and then you have to crank the intensity of the screen up and then your battery lifetime goes down. And there's, things like that are potential applications of invisible glass. The grand prize was such a surprise and so uh, meaningful for us uh, as recognition of the work that we do. You know, we're scientists, we're in the lab, we're doing our science, and oftentimes the satisfaction of doing, doing science comes from um, increasing human knowledge, right? Like we learn something new that no one has learned before. And that's satisfying for scientists in many ways, but it never hurts to uh, have others recognize uh, the work that you do as well. So uh, nothing beats a nice pat on the back and uh, recognition that what you do could uh, be important for the future.